how I'd take some flowers. I'm not sure how appropriate it is. John's probably laughing his head off at me. There aren't any hard and fast rules. I think it's a lovely touch. You finish your chat. I'll pay for these. All right, if you like. He's running himself ragged. He'll be all right. He's strong. Hmm. I think he'd rather pretend today wasn't happening. How are the girls? Yeah, Hannah's OK. Well, incredible, actually. Holly's not so good. Come on, Mum. I need to get back. Oh, just don't do the right thing. The kids don't seem too convinced. That's why they've got the Mum. To help them. Double checking there aren't any other bits lying about waiting to choke someone. Oh, he feels bad enough as it is. Just making the place safe. Seems like it's getting harder and harder to keep on top of things. We're just gonna have to be a lot more vigilant in the future. He's getting worse though. We can't ignore that. Ashley, do you mean home? I don't like talking about it either. It's not nice for anyone. Especially not your dad. I'm afraid the time has come to reconsider what his needs are. Not just for him, for the sake of the whole family. Well, you better let me know what my shift's gonna be, because I'm not letting Paddy and Rona down just because he's done a Ewe. I thought you'd be pleased. You were mourning about it enough when the police were shut. I am. Has it actually got any guests in? Yeah, a few. So, hasn't scared them off then? You wanna look like a tramp? It's allowed a blip. You know, being deserted by someone you love tends to do funny things to people. Maybe we should give him a quick console with some room freshener. At least then he won't be a health hazard. It's not funny. I'm worried about him. He's only messing. There you are, girls. These are going begging. Why? What have you done to them? Oh, nothing. I just thought you were doing a great job with Eric and can't be easy. And I just thought you'd like a little treat. Have you not got anything better to do than listen to other people's conversations? Well, I'm not going to force you. It was just a gesture. Well, as long as they're not paying for him. Look, that tarp will hold. I'm telling you, it's not going anywhere. Right, I'll check it again when we're back. Just keep an eye on it. Yeah, if you get time for a cup of tea. No, you're all right. Better get back. I hope today's not too, you know. So I'll see you when you get back, yeah? Yeah, just give us a call if there's any problems. Am I the only one making an effort? It's not like we're going to a party, is it? Yeah, and I've not got time to get changed, so... What difference does it make what we wear? None of it makes any difference. Just wear what you feel comfortable in. Do you want me to take the flowers? Well... I thought we could take one each and maybe say a little something. Will you take mine for me? I'm not coming, you're going to have to do it without me. Holly, we have talked about this and we're going to do it as a family. I just can't handle this, Mum. Please, please, can we do it another day? I'm not ready for this. It ain't going to get any better if we keep chopping and changing it, Holly. Let's just get it over and done with. It'll be all right. Yeah, we'll all be together. We'll be fine. Do you want me to have Angelica for you? Give you some quality time together. It's not going to make any difference. She won't budge unless I comply. Well, you're just going to have to pull out all the stops then, aren't you? Use your charms. If all else fails, just get her drunk. Oh, you've been busy. Oh, you know me, Brenda. Regular human dynamo. <laughs> I'm just going to have to call her bluff. If she can take it, I can. She's only punishing herself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's suffering a lot less than you are. But if you want some proper advice, you ought to ask Bob. He's been there and back. Bob! We need your expert advice. Yeah, never got the catch and carry when you're hungry. Yeah, I know, it, it's, uh, it's a little delicate. You've had the snip, haven't you? 
Don't do it, mate. Really. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not for me. It's, uh... <gasps> or do I think one Nicola Klon's probably enough for this world to bear? <laughs> <laughs> do you mind? We're trying to have a private conversation here. It's only Brandon, and it's a touchy. Oh. She thinks I'm being a wuss. The problem is, once they've endured childbirth, they think they've got a monopoly on pain. You were nearly crying chopping lemons this morning. Yeah, I had a paper cut. <laughs> is it really that bad? <sighs> Look, I, I can't say I enjoyed it. I definitely didn't enjoy having it reversed. <laughs> Listen, if you're going to have it done, just make sure it's for keeps, because you do not want to go through what I went through, I'm telling you. No, don't wait to start hiring the top. They'll make a start now. Oh, I'll bring Alex up when I'm done. Adam, will you get off the phone, please? Why was this place so special, Mum? I don't know. Just somewhere your dad and I used to come and hide out from the rest of the world. Yeah, look, I'm not going to be long. I'll ring you when I'm heading back, all right? Bye. Your dad used to love this place. So peaceful, isn't it? We used to spend hours chatting and messing around. Way too much information, Mum. Well, can we just get this over and done with? What cheered you up? Expecting something special? I'm just a delivery guy making me laugh. Better than our usual miserable bloke, any road. Didn't smell a roll for a start. I thought you were a happily married woman. I am. Well, I would be if my husband would do as he's told. <laughs> Ooh, funny like that, men, aren't they? With their autonomous thoughts and willful actions. We should beat it out of them early. Start as we mean to go on. Yeah, I'm not asking you to do it out of the goodness of your heart. You are contractually obliged to meet the deadline. If only he was in charge of the world, everything would be so much easier. Mm. <laughs> I love you, Dad. I miss you. That was very brief. Do you want to say anything? Lovely mum. Meant a lot. Hey, aren't you heading back with us? I'd rather walk. I just want to be by myself for a bit. I just let her go. You know what she's like, there's no point arguing. They're useless on their own, though, aren't they? It's like a ship without a rudder. It's managed for years, bobbing along without her. I dare say he'll live. Yeah. Hey, you don't suppose he'd take her back, would he? After all the trouble she's caused. He's a broken man. Whether or not he's daft enough to take her back is his business. Mm. Well, the b and B's open again, that's something. The girls were saying he's in a terrible state. He's unshaved and stinking of booze and frightening all the guests away. I mean, he'll run that business into the ground if he's not careful. Nice to see you've all got such rich lives that my well-being is at the top of your agenda. We were just saying... Yes, I heard. Thank you. I may have had a temporary wobble, but I can go home, sober up, have a shower and a shave, whereas you, shuffling about, gibbering endless nonsense to anyone who's bored enough to listen. Eric. But there again, why should I be surprised for somebody who's got a, an IQ of a jellyfish?
Your mum's looking for you. What's that? Nothing. It's not what it looks like. I wasn't going to take it. I was just looking at it. Are you off your cake? Why would you even have it on you? I just kept it. You know, to remind me. You can't tell my mum. I think she needs to know her daughter's back on smack. I'm not, I swear. She wouldn't be able to take it. You know what we've been doing today? She heard about this. On my life, I'm not back on it. Everything has been so horrible recently. I haven't even touched it. Come on, you'd know if I had. I mean, it's not the sort of thing I can hide, is it? If my mum found out I'd been anywhere near it, she'd lose it. She's barely keeping it together as it is. Hannah and Adam would never forgive me. Please, Alex. Please don't do that to my mum. She doesn't deserve it. Fine. I won't tell her. Only because you're going to get rid of it. Now. It doesn't matter how bad things get. That stuff will only make things worse. I'm afraid it's a combination of factors. I don't see things very well. My fingers are almost seized up, and if I bend over too long, the old hip flares up. We'll have to get you some slip-ons. We can't keep doing this every five minutes. Yes. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I can't go on saying I'm sorry. I know you can't. The problem is, though, Dad, that these incidents seem to be getting more and more frequent. No, well, I'll, I'll have to try harder. I'm afraid that's not going to be enough. I mean, if it was just me and Laurel, but we have to think of the kids. So, what are you saying? I've made an appointment with a lovely place just to have a look around. Hey, why not have me put down and I'm done with it? <laughs> I would have thought after yesterday you might at least pretend to show willing. I've made the appointment now. I, I, I've not committed to anything, but we can't carry on as we are. Hiya. Hi. I was just telling Dad about Greenside. He's agreed to come and have a look round with us. Really? Oh, can't do any harm. <laughs> it was a total disaster. Holly couldn't look me in the eye, and Adam couldn't get out there quick enough. Oh, Moira. It was never going to be easy, was it? No, but I think it may have made things worse. I found this one lurking about the barns, freezing a bit off. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Just got a bit cold, that's all. I'm gonna go put another jumper on and then I thought I'd get something in for tea. What do you fancy? Bangers and mash? Yeah, that, that's fine. It sounds lovely. I'll drive it down if you like. Oh, thanks, Alex, but it's fine, honestly. It's no trouble. No, uh, Adam wants you out lambing with him and Andy. Right. OK, well... You know where I am if you need me. What's with the urgent phone calls? Finally realised you couldn't resist me? Yeah, something like that. Got to give in to my animal instincts every now and then, haven't I? What's he doing here? Been making myself useful, thank you very much. Been putting some stuff up in the loft. Right, so all your big talk about, come home, Jimmy, I want to see you, was just to wind me up. Ah, oh, as if I'd be that sneaky. I just invited the two men in my life round for a spot of lunch. Hmm. It's not really such a crime. 
spoke to Bob earlier, doing some research. Oh, yeah? He said it was awful. He couldn't sit down for ages. <clears throat> Had to sleep with a bag of peas on his... He was in agony. Oh, stop being such a baby. You'd do it if you had to, wouldn't you, Dad? What? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure I'd be entirely happy. For God's sake! The pair of you are being ridiculous. It's just macho nonsense. It's not macho to want to keep yourself intact. It's pathetic. Well, no, I can sue you for breach of contract. Your choice. I see you being your usual charming self. Well, there's only so far my admittedly incredible charm will get me. Sooner or later, you've got to crack the whip. Have you spent all day kicking off on the phone? What's the problem? Well, where do I start? Uh, global economic meltdown? All right, clever clogs. I meant with the hotel. Suppliers are messing me around. Nothing a good kick out the backside won't fix. It's very good of you to see us at such short notice. Nonsense. We'll always have time for you, Vicar. And it's a pleasure to finally meet your father. <sighs> he is a real credit to you. Uh. <clears throat> it's uh, normally much busier than this, but most of our residents are at lunch. We try to get our guests involved in menu planning. They're um, encouraged to get involved in how things are run. <laughs> Don't tell him that. He'll be organising pub crawls to Las Vegas and back, giving off a chance. At the very least. <laughs> <laughs> and through here are our guest bedrooms. There's stair and lift access, of course. Oh, right, of course, yes. Hey, thanks for your little pep talk with Jimmy earlier. <laughs> I've never seen him look so scared. <laughs> well, you know, he asked me man to man. I'm not going to lie to him, am I? Yeah, well, I wish you had. It makes my life a lot easier when Nicola's happy. <sighs> Right, the lad, when you're ready, please, Diane. She's still hell-bent on him having it done, then, is she? You lot and your precious man bits. God forbid anyone should tamper with them. <laughs> if I were him, I'd sleep with one eye open and something very heavy with an easy reach. <laughs> <laughs> you got something to say? All I could do without the dead eye while I'm having me pint, you know what I'm saying? You wind your neck in, or it'll be more than the dead eye you're getting. They've been scattering John's ashes this morning. Just say when you're ready and I'll run you back up home. That's the last place I want to be. Your mum's worried about you. She'll feel better if she knows where you are. I know you're not looking out for me, but I'm fine. I need a bit of space, that's all. I know you're struggling as well. Why don't you just admit it? Don't judge everyone by your own standards. We're not all animals. So rude. They're not wrong though, are they? He does have a look of one. Eric is gonna flip. Maybe we should rip it out. But you probably have another heart attack. Better do it then. Oh, very nice. Not content with ruining my reputation. Now you're trashing the place. Very good. This is a new low. I've had Brenda commenting about how well I'm running the place into the ground. This can only help. I'll try to save your feelings, actually. Feelings? I don't have any! They were trampled under by Valerie's size 12 boots when she'd left me. We didn't tell Brenda on purpose anyway. She was ligging into a conversation. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter now. Damage is done. We wouldn't have even been talking about it if you hadn't lost the plot. Well, I'm back on the plot now, and the first thing I'm going to do with my shiny new life is get rid of the pair of you. What? As of now, you are both terminated. <laughs> We're terminated. Oh, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not serious. As if you're going to be able to run this place on your own. If I can't trust you to be professional, I don't want you around. 
Oh, uh, do you have set visiting hours, or would we need to make an appointment? We'll try and be fairly flexible, but 3am yeah. visits might prove a little taxing. <laughs> <laughs> we probably won't want to visit in the middle of the night, though we could do a spot check, you know, see if we can catch anyone off guard. Just trying to raise a mood. It's only natural for families to have concerns, but all I can say is our 20-year record speaks for itself. Oh, uh, you, you go on ahead, I'll catch you up. We're not going too fast for you, are we? No, 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 it's fine. I thought I'd just spend a few moments soaking up the atmosphere. Oh, uh, right, OK, we'll, we'll, we'll meet you back at reception. You do remember where that is, don't you? Well, I'm sure I can navigate myself back there. Good. What is this? Oh. What the... Holly. Oh, no, what have you done? Don't tell my mum. Please don't tell my mum. You stupid bitch. 